Have you ever wondered what the edge of the world looks like, or where the end of the road leads to? Well, I have, so I hopped on an RV and set off towards Gaspésie, the east coast of Quebec to find the easternmost edge of North America. But first, I had to bring two friends along. So what do you guys think the edge of the world looks like? I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's go. I think there's a dude out there. Wait, what? No way. Where? Over there. You see? No. <laughs> what does the edge of the world look like to you? It's a uh, waterfall going down to the abyss because the earth is flat. Yeah. <laughs> So we just took a boat to Lille Bonaventure. We're doing a little pit stop before we go to the edge of the world. And this is definitely one of the best decisions ever because the hike around this mountain is absolutely stunning. It's just as much about the journey as it is about the end of the world or the, the end result, the edge of uh, the world that we're trying to see. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I actually really enjoy the actual plane rides and the bus rides and the train rides. I think that's one of the most fun parts of every trip. If you enjoy that as well, definitely let me know. Wait, so Bill, have you ever been on a plane ride? Yeah. Do you, do you enjoy the plane ride? Of course. Right? Yeah. Plane rides are amazing. Hell yeah. yeah. See? Lesson learned. It's all about the journey. It's not only about the end result. But anyways, now we're gonna try to get back on the boat and go back to our journey towards the edge of the world. All right. Oh my God, this is so cold. Ah, oh, no. Oh my God. All right, so we're currently at the base of the Rocher Percé, which is crazy because we had to essentially come out here when the tide is low. Not every day where you get to walk through a low tide path to see one of the most beautiful, iconic uh, rocks in the country. So unfortunately, the tide is coming back up right now, so we gotta hurry up and get out of here before we are literally overwhelmed by water and drowned. That would not be good. After camping for the night and waking up to a mistful morning, today was finally the day we would go find the edge of the world. Ding dong. Oh shit. Um, hello there, friend. Uh, please, please welcome to my humble abode. We have um, the executive lounge. This is where all the magic happens. Um, we oh shit, I spilled. <laughs> we got the four Uber water bottles in case you need to hydrate yourself. Yeah, so we come here. Uh, we got the we got the kitchen. Uh, we got the 60-inch TV. I know it looks small here, but Trust me, believe me, this is at least 60 inch. Then you got the, the diner table. This is where all the executive meetings happen. Got tons of drawers. We got drawers, 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 drawers. We also have the bathroom. It smells, it doesn't smell good right now, but um, I will still put the camera man inside. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, come It doesn't smell bad. You know, we got the, the potty hole there, as well as the shower. Finally, we have the master bedroom feel free to come come in closer great view out on the uh the waterfront over there i don't know if you can see this is this is what it feels like to woo, sleep here you get that view cool and yeah more closets more what the, why are you still <laughs> here <laughs> all right thanks a lot for coming to my rv tour um, now we're gonna get back to the road you have arrived at your destination
So we're currently at Parc Fauvillon and we are ever so closer to the edge of the world. Currently on a hike, breathtaking views. Don't you agree, my friend? Yes, of course. Yeah, so it's actually crazy because like we're at the most eastern point in Quebec and literally, you know, over there or there or there, I'm not exactly sure, but somewhere over there is is Europe, man. I don't know, like Portugal, probably over there, maybe Africa over there, who knows? Crazy. Canada's over there. No, no, yes. you idiot, Canada's here. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. Uh, I'm gonna take you through the tour of my Michelin star, five star, um, pan-Asian fusion restaurant up here at the top of the world. This is table one where we are serving a happy family of seven. We have my signature tomatoes and green cucumbers that you eat whole. Um, the remnants of the sausage and cucumber. Come on, come in closer, don't be afraid. We don't bite here. Um, we got some beef here, we got some sliced. I don't know what that is. Um, remnants of amazing uh, Chinese noodles. Mm -hmm. And these are some satisfied customer here at my restaurant. Um, how did you enjoy your food, sir? Sausage <laughs> head.